the Microsoft community provides some great examples and the patterns and practice give us some fantastic libraries to use, namely the PMPSP library for accessing lists, the SPFX, React controls, some great things like placeholder controls, web part titles, and then the SPFX property controls like list pickers. We're going to look at all of these using this web part. During this five part series, we're going to develop this web part where we can edit the title, we can create a placeholder, we can access lists, and we can display those FAQs from that list in nice accordion controls. So we're going to go through all the steps needed to develop this web part. So I hope you stick with me on this. The first part we're going to look at is setting up a development environment. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're using Node 16 LTS version. So to do this, I'm going to use Node version manager. Um, if you need to learn how to use that, then please see my other video, which will take you through that. I'll put all the links below and who knows, it may appear above. OK, so let's have a look. As you can see from my terminal, we're currently using Node version 14.19. Uh, so I'll make sure I've got Node version manager installed. Yeah, so I'm going to do NVM use 16 and this will use the latest uh, version at the time of recording I'm on 16.15.1. If I want to make sure I, I install the latest one, I can do uh, NVM install 16. And as we can see, the actual version should be 16.16.0. And this is now reflected in my terminal. OK, so I'm using the correct version here. So what I want to do is install uh, the latest version of everything that uh, I want to make sure we're, uh, we're up and running. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is install Gulp. And Gulp, of course, um, will run all of our tasks. Uh, again, if you see the series, um, A Beginner's Guide to um, SharePoint Development on our channel, uh, then that can take you through what all the packages do. So I'm going to do npm install gulp. Well, we only need to do the command line interface and make sure that's installed globally. Excellent. The next thing I want to do is install Yeoman, which is going to create all our uh, templates uh, for us. Uh, so when we scaffold a new project, it'll do all that for us. So npm install yo minus minus global. It could just be minus minus g as well. Excellent. So then we need to install the SharePoint generator for Yeoman, and this will be able to build all our uh, scaffold our projects out for us. So let's have a look. npm install. I'm going to go for Microsoft forward slash generator SharePoint minus minus global. Excellent. So I'm going to install all the uh, patterns and practices PMP libraries as we get to them. But for now, we've got everything we need to build a project. So I'm going to go into my folder, which I called source, which contains all my source code. And I'm going to create one here. I'm going to call it uh, Robert's Dev Talk. Um, and this is going to be used for uh, all of our projects. So I'm going to go into Robert's Dev Talk, and we've nothing in here. OK, so what I'm going to do is simply type yo, and this will allow me to scaffold our web part project. OK, so I'm going to go for Microsoft SharePoint, and the solution name is going to be called, um, we're going to call this one Samples. I'm going to create a web part and I'm going to call it FAQ. And I'm going to choose the React framework because we're going to use all the PMP, React controls, etc. 
Excellent. We've now got our web part project. Now, as you'll see when you're setting up your environment, if you haven't done this already, you do need to trust the developer certificate. You'll get all kinds of errors. We do this by typing gulp trust dev set. Excellent. So we're all ready to go. So I'm going to have a look at the project. Let's have a look. Okay. So I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code. Let's move that into view. Excellent. And I've got my project in here. So in here, we've got all our project components. Again, there's another video all about what's in a web part project. But what we should be able to do here is start a new terminal. And notice it's in the right version of Node, so that's great. And I'm going to do a um, check to see how we've set it up. Now, because we're using the latest version of SharePoint, the local workbench has died. Again, you may have seen that video. So what we need to do is do a bit of configuration. So if I open up the um, config file here, and I'm going to have a look at the uh, config.json. It's got all of our uh, details in there for configuration. We've got our package solution, which we'll look at in, in a bit as well. Let's just give that a bit more room. But this is the one we're interested in, serve.json. Now it's looking for the SharePoint site that we're going to be using to run our web part from. Now, again, <laughs> You can set up your own developer environment, and we have a video on that. Uh, my one is actually set up here as robertsdevtalk.sharepoint.com. So I'm going to replace enter your SharePoint site with robertsdevtalk.sharepoint.com. And now we're all set up, ready to test. So let's give this a go. I can do this by doing gulp serve. And here it is in our browser. If I go to add my web part, I can see it's got my FAQ and it's got all the basic out of the box web part properties, which is excellent. Okay, so we've installed the development environment and we've created our first web part. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please stick with me on this journey. In the next episode, we're going to look at installing the PMPSP library and accessing our list and creating a list to support our web part. So in order to go on that journey, please click the video above and uh, I'll see you next time.